I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use chat GPT to come up with um, some things that it can do to help out podcasters. And then I'm going to essentially develop a script for a podcast episode or really like a YouTube video or something like that. It, it actually doesn't matter too much. I'm going to take the output, the script from ChatGPT, and then I'm going to put it into a tool called Descript. Descript is a paid tool and it does transcribing. It is a video editor, an audio editor, and I'm using it currently to create like YouTube shorts. And really I'm starting to use it for all my video editing because of all the capabilities it has. The cool part with the script is you could feed it in your own voice and then it can read back text that you put in that you never read before. The cool thing is I have hundreds of hours of audio. So I was able to feed it and train the script with my voice. So I could put in a script that I never said any anything. I didn't read it. And then it will just convert it into my voice. Now there's some preset voices on there, but I just tested it out and it's pretty damn good. So this is going to be kind of a long form tutorial and I'm going to go through it. I've done each step individually, but I'm going to show you everything along the way. I'm going to edit some things out, but you get the main idea. So let's get rolling here. We're over here at ChatGPT. I'm going to just put this in. What can ChatGPT do for podcasters? Okay, so we have an answer. We have six things here. One is provide topic ideas. So that's legit. Generate show notes. So it can, but you would have to feed it information like the transcript, for example. It says that ChatGPT can transcribe podcast episodes automatically, which I think that's bullshit. I don't think it can do that. It can edit audio files, also bullshit. Provide interview questions. That's legit. Offer language translation. Okay, so a couple of those I'm calling BS on, but let's let's push forward here. And, and this happens, right? Like not everything is going to be perfect. So I'm going to ask for more. Okay, so we have five more options here. These are legit social media content, marketing strategies, monetization, audience engagement and content creation. So for additional content like blog posts or videos or newsletters or whatever. So that's all legit. So now I'm gonna ask for a consolidated list, but I want to eliminate transcript and edit audio files. Those are the ones I called BS on. I'll say create a single list, but remove. I'm, just, I'm gonna paste it verbatim here. And the other one is edit the audio file. Okay, so we have the eight items here. I'm going to pause for a second because this is going to take a minute and I'm going to ask ChatGPT to expand on each one of these with, I'm going to say 100 to 300 words. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'll say create a script for each. I'm going to have to divide this up. I'm going to call it a section. Actually, I'll call it a topic. So create a script for each topic for a podcast. And I'll ask for 100 to 300 words. I'm going to divide it up. That way, I'm not going to run out of tokens. I've asked it to write the whole thing. It may stop in the middle. So I'm going to say, give me a script on providing topic ideas. And one thing that might, it should remember the previous conversation here and understand what we're doing. We're gonna go from there and see if this works. Okay, so starting off good, provide topic ideas. Welcome to our podcast segment on providing topic ideas as a podcaster coming up with ideas, blah, blah, blah. All right, so we're good to go. I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna do this for each of the sections and come back in a moment. All right, we're coming up on the end here. This is the last one of the eight sections and it's pretty good, I gotta say. It's following along. It's writing a 100 to 300 word 
script for each section. So it's looking pretty good. And what we're going to do, we're going to have to copy and paste it over. So that's like the, the longest portion of this. And we're going to head over to Descript. I'll show you how to set that up. Before I start doing that, I want to let you know, I do have a prompt engineering cheat sheet, which is, I mean, it's things that I've come up with, things that I've learned from other people, combined some ideas. This kind of stuff that I'm doing right here, this is the kind of stuff that is really interesting to me. So if, you're, if you want to get this free cheat sheet, check it out. There's a link in the description. Okay. So here's the deal. We have all of these eight different sections, which is really good. We do need an intro though. So I, I realize we don't have an intro. So I'll ask, can, you don't have to ask, you tell it, you tell chat GPT what you want. You don't need to ask permission. All right. Write an intro for this podcast episode about what chat GPT can do to help podcasters. And I'll also say, use humor and word play if possible. Aim for 200 words. We don't want it to be too long. All right. And I'm calling it a podcast episode. What I'm going to do, I, I may actually publish this. I am going to take the script. I'm going to copy and paste it over to the script, which I'll show you in just a second. And then we'll be able to generate the video and I could just put in B roll. So that's one cool thing with Descript. I'm an affiliate for Descript. It's a badass tool and I'm using it more and more all the time. So let me share Descript as well. And basically, oh, that's my private workspace here. But basically what you could do, I just, I'm going to go to my private workspace. I'm going to create a new project. It takes a second. And this is what chat GPT can do for podcasters. And then you can drag in a file, you can start writing, you could record stuff, we're going to start writing. So I mean, I didn't read this. But it's probably pretty good. I don't know. Let's see. So we just paste it in here. Great. Paste it right in there. Fantastic. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to copy and paste all this stuff. So I'm going to pause again because I am really slow. So I'm just going to copy and paste it over and I'll be right back. I pasted everything over here now and I realized I don't have an outro and I may as well do it, right? So I'm going to ask ChatGPT for the outro and see what we come up with. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to play the system audio so that you can hear me say those words that I didn't, I'm not even going to read it. All right. I, I'm just going to, I'm going to play it out and you'll be able to check it out. All right. Let me get the outro really quick here. So once we have this in here, you just need to select the speaker and it's already trained on me. So it'll take a second here for it to convert this over, I believe. So the, the thing is, you know, when I, when I trained it, I uploaded audio. So I had lots of audio. I just uploaded 90 minutes of a podcast episode that I had and it learned my voice. It took about a day or two. I can't remember. Maybe it was overnight, but it was pretty quick. And then it had all the content that it needed. If you don't have a podcast, then you can read out a prepared script. And I think it's like 10 minutes long and that's pretty good. But the more data that you can give it, the longer recording of audio, the better it can be trained. All right. Full disclosure, I ran into a little bit of an issue. It was having trouble pronouncing chat GPT all as one word. So I need to go and separate it out like this, and then it's able to pronounce it. So that'll take me just a minute to do. It's used a handful of times, but I'll just do a search and replace, and it shouldn't be a big deal. So I'll be right back. I just have to fix that so it pronounces chat GPT correctly. So I did the search and replace, so we're good to go here. And basically, you should be able to hear this. I didn't read it, like I said, and I'm just going to play like, uh, you know, 20, 30 seconds here. Welcome to our podcast episode where we explore the question, what can chat GPT do to help podcasters? As a podcaster, you're always on the hunt for innovative ways to create better content, grow your audience, and make your show stand out from the crowd. 
And that's where ChatGPT comes in. It's like the Swiss army knife of podcasting. With ChatGPT by your side, you can generate topic ideas faster than you can say podcast. Edit your audio files quicker than a New York minute and transcribe your episodes more accurately than a court stenographer. But wait, there's more. ChatGPT can also help you with social media content that's more engaging than a blockbuster movie, marketing strategies that are more effective than a hypnotist spout, and audience engagement that's more rewarding than winning the lottery. All right, so I probably wouldn't say all of that stuff, but it's pretty damn good. Okay, so what we could do here, I mean, this is audio, right? I can export the audio, we're good to go. If I wanted to do video, right? Video is popular. I could just pop in here. There's a whole library and I can just start putting in B-roll at the very beginning. It could just be, I, I mean, there's video essay type channels out there and I literally can just start putting them in here. It'll take a second to download and then I could pop back out over here. I can add another another one. So we'll go back to the beginning and this is what it could be as a podcast, okay? Or, or a YouTube video. Welcome to our podcast episode where we explore the question, what can chat GPT do to help podcasters? As a podcaster, you're always on the hunt for innovative ways to create better content, grow your audience and make your show stand out from the crowd. And that's where chat GPT comes in. It's like the Swiss army knife of podcasting. With ChatGPT by your side, you can generate topic ideas faster than you can say podcast. Edit your audio files quicker than a New York minute and transcribe your episodes more accurately than a court stenographer. But wait. So you get the idea and you can put in B-roll for the whole thing. You get the point. Like you can really do some crazy stuff. ChatGPT plus the script. So it's worth checking out. Check the link in the description to get your prompt engineering cheat sheet. And I'll go ahead and put in my uh, affiliate link for Descript. So if you buy it, I get a commission, which I greatly appreciate. Thanks.